What up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you how to drive a dresser dozer or bulldozer. As you can see right here, this is a dresser. Um, dresser actually was made by International Harvest and then Dresser put their name on it and then Dresser was bought out by Komatsu. So some of the bulldozers that are also made by Komatsu are going to be the same as this one. This one's like a late 80s, early 90s dozer and it's a Dresser. It's a TD20G, but uh, a lot of the other dresser bulldozers are going to have very similar controls. So, if we get inside the, the cockpit here, you can uh, sit down, and if you want to turn it on, there's this switch right down here that you're going to flip, and then you're going to flip that to on. And then you got to take your can off the exhaust. Let it warm up for a second. And then you'll hit this button to start it. And it'll start up. This right here is your throttle. This is very important. This is basically what locks it for the gears, for the safety stuff. So you put that forward, now it can go into gear. So if we want to go forward, pull it back one, reverse, pull it back one, and there's three different gears. This right here is your uh, front blade everything for the blade that controls it is this lift it up put it down lift it up and then tilt so you can go to the right it'll tilt it like that tilt it back over to the right I meant to say left not right so yeah this right here just controls your blade you go forward it goes down back it goes up the faster your idle is you know the quicker uh, the bucket will go up and down this is the turn this would be to turn right this would be to turn left so if we put this down, and this is your brake, that's your brake. So if we put that and we just click it, now we'll go, brake, we want to turn, pull on that, go that way, pull on that.
shut it off. And then when you shut it off, you're gonna wanna turn, flip that switch as well. Um, you can see this button right here is your horn. Pull back on that for your lights up front. Uh. Then back here, as you can see, this big tank right here is going to be where you add fuel. This is gonna be hydraulic fluid right here. So you're gonna wanna put in hydraulic fluid in this and it takes 22 gallons of hydraulic fluid so a shitload and this is the diesel fuel then not a bad idea if you're using one of these to grease everything up um, fairly often uh, there's also some grease zits in here and on this particular one this isn't my dozer but uh, i was just using it or getting ready to use it I don't think anybody had greased these in here in a long time because they took so much grease and that's a really important uh, area of the machine to be greased. So you want to grease up all these grease zits down there and there's some right down in front pretty much anywhere um, you know that's going to move and just look for all the grease zits. This right here is the air filter. I got to replace a hydraulic line, as you can see, leaking. This right here, you want to check your oil. That's where your oil goes. And those are fuel filters, I believe. And then if you want to tighten up the tracks, uh, you just lift up that and then grease that right there. And that'll tighten up your tracks by adding grease it pushes out the piston which then in return tightens up your tracks um, another really important thing that you're going to want to do is um, you're going to want to basically get the machine to where this right here is level either one of these words completely level and then you'll use uh, a ratchet just stick the end of your ratchet in there to take this off and then you'll want to fill it up and make sure it's full with oil and i think it takes like uh nine like uh 90 or 80 over 90 or 90 over 80 probably want to check because i'm pretty sure i just butchered that but you'll definitely want to make sure this this drive train right here has got you know some gear oil in it that's pretty important as you can see, it's got a real nice cage on it. Um, don't got none of them fancy windows, but it's got a real strong cage in case you push a dumb tree over on you or something. It's nice to have that safety, you know. Man, that'd be bad if a tree fell on you in one of these. <laughs> Woo! You gotta be careful. So, yeah. Interesting story with these dozers right here as you can see this is actually a dresser but dresser actually did not make these dozers international harvest did and then international harvest got bought out by komatsu so then komatsu slapped their name on the exact same dozer that was all that was made by international harvest that used to be a dresser. So if you need any parts for your dresser, you can get them at your Komatsu dealer. As you can see right here, do a, a quick 360 view of this beautiful dozer. I think this is like a 1988, 1989, 1990 um, TD20G dresser. You know, it's a pretty nice dozer. It's a big boy, pretty big at least. Uh, to me i know they make you know obviously quite a bit bigger ones but uh it's, it's a decent sized dozer and uh it's, it's not real fancy or nothing you don't got none of the the latest uh, electronic control technology like you'll see on a lot of the new cats you know the the d6s the d8s the d10s the d3s the d4s you know it ain't got none of that fancy stuff so it's just the way i like it you know lean mean 
dozer dirt pushing machine is what this dresser is right here they do not make them like this anymore folks no sir bob we're gonna be showing you everything you need to know on how to operate one of these things if you really don't know what the hell you're doing or you're just thinking about buying a dresser and, and you want to you know get an overview of it and uh see if it's for you so the good thing about these dozers is you can get them a lot cheaper than one of them new cat dozers man i had to <laughs> sell my i'd have to sell my house <laughs> And I still don't think I'd have enough to buy one of them new fancy cat dozers. You know, I don't even think I could even buy a new D3. And then that's just a <laughs> little old measly dozer, I mean. So, I bought this thing right here, dresser. You know, you can't beat it. International Harvest. Shoot, that's about all for this video. This is just, you know, a quick overview. Um, as far as uh if you want to kind of know the basics of how uh a dresser dozer um operates just kind of a little walk around of uh this dresser dozer right here and i believe this is like a, a 1988 or 89 um they make komatsu models that are going to be like your in the early 90s that are very similar to this and like i said this is a dresser made by international harvest and also they make komatsus that are literally the exact same dozer because komatsu bought dresser but uh dresser never actually made the dozers international harvest did as you can see the seat the seats on these things for some reason they got shitty seats on them they always get ripped up i need to put a new seat in this thing but yeah i hope this video helps you guys and um please subscribe 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 let me know if this video helped you let me know if it didn't always love your guys's feedback positive or negative hit that like button please subscribe and until next time guys peace thanks for watching